all right so jumping right into it the bundles that you guys are seeing have been previously used this is my raw curly hair from honey hair co i did have a lace closure that i didn't use in my previous install i'm just showing you all that the knots on the lace closure have already been bleached and all of that good stuff this is raw curly hair so of course the patterns that you guys will see will not be the same because these bundles are untouched unprocessed just raw virgin hair so to begin my construction of this sewing machine wig i have to do my guidelines and i got this from taylor crowns on instagram she is a beast when it comes down to these uh these sewing machine wigs so it was only right that i give her the credit that is due um, another thing that I got from Taylor Crowns was how to double my wefts and that's the first thing that I learned how to do when it came down to using the sewing machine for my wigs. In order for me to get familiar with you know the sewing machine I learned how to double my wefts and this is something that I incorporated with wig making even as I still continue to hand make my wigs. I started doubling my wefts using the sewing machine and when I tell you guys this is life so if you are interested in getting to um getting into sewing machine wigs learn how to double your wefts on the sewing machine first that's my advice i'm coming from an amateur wig maker you know <laughs> this was definitely one of those steps that i had to master before moving on to anything else and if you are wondering as to what machine i am using i'll actually link it down below it's a regular kenmore sewing machine this was gifted to me by my godmother, but I'll have it linked down below if you are curious. Alright, and there's the finished product of the doubled web. Not too bad for a beginner. <laughs> um, This was my first attempt at making a sewing machine wig and actually filming it so I don't have that many clips because I was really trying to focus on getting this right um, so I'm just pretty much showing you guys bits and pieces of what I did how I you know backstitch just to secure the track onto the cap and things of that sort and yeah so the another thing that I actually learned from Taylor Crowns was to you know put your lace closure last and if you do your guidelines correctly your closure should actually just fall into place like seamlessly like so <laughs> so um yeah this was my first attempt and it came out nice it fit perfectly on my head this is the hair and it's two bundles guys two bundles and a closure at that Here I am a week into rocking my unit. I cut the lace and this is the hair in its natural state. All I really do is use water and soft holding mousse. Um, if it needs a co-wash, I'll co-wash it, but I never use any leave-in products. I wanted to do something new and something different for the new year, so I went ahead and decided to give this hair a cut. I learned a long time ago, if you're gonna cut wave your curly hair, it's best to cut it when it's wet. I guess the hair just flows a lot better um, as far as the cut goes. I'm not sure. I'm not a licensed professional hairstylist. I just watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to use some, you know, sharp shears and I'm going to cut uh, kind of like in a blunt fashion. But when I get to the other side of this wig, I am going to cut at an angle. You guys are going to see what I'm pretty much doing here. So I'm just cutting, cutting. I'm cutting straight across and then I'm gonna start to cut at an angle because I want it more like of a, um dang I can't talk I want it like a asymmetrical kind of look you guys are gonna see in this next clip how it turned out and I think it turned out pretty good this is exactly what I was going for and this raw curly hair from honey hair cold definitely helped me achieve this look so if you guys are interested in the hair, I'll link it down below along with the coupon code to help you save some money for the new year. Definitely check out Honey Hair Co. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.